Some of the best artistic content delivers a deep thought or emotion in an accessible or even funny way. And one of the best examples of this kind of work is the 80s and 90s comic strip Calvin and Hobbes, which follows a young boy and his potentially imaginary tiger friend, Hobbes, through a mix of adventures and short moments, commonly described as the last great newspaper comic. We are all glad to still be able to read Calvin and Hobbes in an age where newspapers no longer reach our front door. In one of the darkest moments with Calvin, he mourns the loss of a young raccoon, saying, I had to say goodbye as soon as I said hello. And to put our childhood hearts of fire, we see Calvin and Hobbes enjoying a fresh snow day, saying, It's a magical world, Hobbes, old buddy. Let's go exploring. And we've all had days like Calvin where nothing is going right, and sometimes putting on your big boy pants doesn't even make a difference. When Calvin is lying awake in bed at night, afraid of the dark, he realizes, in his own childish way, that he feels less scared with his friend Hobbes by his side, saying, Things are never quite as scary when you've got a best friend. And after trying to live up to a life of virtue, Calvin realizes he still wants to have some kind of fun. To which Hobbes, perhaps unsure of Calvin's actions, says, Virtue needs some cheaper thrills. Calvin sees things his way, and when his pie slice isn't the size he thinks is fair, you're gonna hear about it, Mom. Another contrasting moment between the duo comes from when Calvin decides to be a people person. Although his motivations are still entirely selfish, and he ends up with a face full of slush as Hobbes offers the thought, True happiness can only be found in the wanton indulgence of animals. And as usual, Hobbes offers a dose of reality to his friend Calvin, which goes completely unnoticed as he asks Calvin and his imaginary clone, scientific progress goes boink? As Calvin observes the grandeur of the universe, he also faces the realities of his own significance, a humbling but meaningful realization for Calvin and any one of us several billion humans on the earth. As their summer comes to a close, we see Calvin and Hobbes racing down a hill saying, there's never enough time to do all the nothing you want, a fitting observation for the value of slowing down.